Hey, I'm Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. And in this series, we'll be looking at capacity planning reports in Nagios XI. Capacity planning is a powerful tool that allows you to be proactive instead of reactive. A lot of people don't consider future upgrades like memory or storage until it's too late, which could cause crashes and other problems. By utilizing capacity planning, you can harness the power of your data and get a look into the future. Capacity planning uses gathered data to predict resource usage, which helps anticipate upgrades and prevents downtime for optimal operations. Let me show you. When we launch Nagios XI, we first want to click on Reports. Then on the left side, we'll click Capacity Planning. Here in the top, we find Period, or the amount of time that we want to review. We get Limit to a host, host groups, service groups. And we could also put an extrapolation method down here. For our example, we want to select three months. We're going to select a host of localhost, and this new tab, All Services, pops up, and we want to limit it to root partition. Anytime we want to apply the filters, we press Run. Here on the left-hand side, the yellow shows us the observed or what has been recorded so far, and the blue is the predicted graph as well as this line which best predicts which way it's going. On the top side, we could also search, we could add to my reports, or we could schedule or email this report, and we could send it directly to our email. And finally, we have download on the right side, which we could download as a PDF or JPG. Being able to schedule capacity planning reports will save you time and help make sure that your whole team can be proactive. With this information, you can make an informed decision on when to add new resources or change your infrastructure. This is why capacity planning can help you ensure that you have the right resources to operate smoothly with as little downtime as possible. I hope this video has helped you understand more about capacity planning. Stick around because you won't want to miss our next video on advanced business process.